Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Range. We have a, a statement in question that came into uh, customer service, and, it, and it's from Robert Fosbury. And Robert says, Don, I too have recently, in parentheses, last six months lost 35 pounds. There are many plans that are healthy and work. I too feel great and am playing some of the best golf of my life, parentheses, using your swing methods. And the parentheses, it seems to have all come together. The confident concept I now have is that the setup, the bump, and the lower body movements are simply a way to get me in a proper position to whoosh my arms and club through the ball and up. I don't know if I am making myself clear, but I used to think I was generating speed with my body and I was quick all the time. Now I'm using my body to get to impact with good timing, using my arms to hit the ball. Does that make any sense? 68 is a good age. I'm still not as good a golfer as I am going to be. In my nine hole league, I am regularly shooting 40, 41, flirting with that 39, that sounds so much better. Again, Robert Fosbury. Well, yeah, 39 is definitely better than 40, and uh, two 39s breaks 80, so uh, that, that, that's really good golf, Robert. So uh, I think you are correct in what you're saying. And I think what you finally realized is the, is the effect of, of uh, what, did, what is the definition of the peak performance golf swing. All right, the peak performance golf swing is a limited body movement, limited turn, three quarter vertical backswing. So we turn only to the toe line in the backswing, lift the club straight up where the club is vertical to the top of the backswing. And then from there, we swing on down, impact and then swing through, turn only to the toe line, swing up to the right, uh, up to over the right shoulder to the, where we're in the teeth finish, so to speak, here, and then we recoil and relax at the target. So the limited turn is we only swing to the toe line. As you know, everything behind the toe line is what we call the sacred burial ground. The rule is you may stand in it, but if you swing in it, you're dead. And the reason is, is because if you swing in it and you swing and you swing straight back down the ball, you'll be powering it out to out way to the right. And so what goes straight up and down, straight up, will come straight down and have a better chance of going straight up. So as I used, as I say, one of my surgisms for the, the a, a, a rotational swing is what goes around comes around. What goes straight up comes straight down. Now to tie that all into what the 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 uh, I guess the the senses that you finally figured out in the swing here is, is that when we do a limited turn and three quarters backswing vertical, what are we really doing here? How are we generating our power? And as you've probably heard me say in the past, we're the alternative energy source. I guess you could say we're the green sort. Of, although this is lime, sure, we're the green energy golf swing, and. As you said in, a, in, your, in your statement, you were trying to generate your body, your, your, your power with your body. And that's what basically the tenant is of the rotational golf swings. They want a huge turn in the backswing, and the more you turn, the, when you snap your lips back, the faster you snap them back, the more they pull the arms. So the body is, in fact, generating the majority of the power. All right? We go the exact opposite. We're going to have limited body movement so we can swing our arms faster. And the concept I use is if, uh, if you can imagine that, that I have a rock hanging on a string here and a rock's just hanging there. Well, when I flip the rock in motion, the rock starts to go around and round and round. And if I let more rock out, uh, more string out so that the rock gets farther away, what happens? I, I have to have more energy, which means I'm gonna move my hand faster. But as that rock starts going faster and faster, what happens to the movement of my hand? It actually tightens up. All right, it tightens up because it needs, with all those extra forces, that centrifugal force pulling on the outward to maintain that rock in orbit, it has to, my hand has to tighten up, okay? And the big issue here now also becomes that while I'm swinging that rock straight up and down, it's, it's pretty much going pretty easy. But if I start to tilt my hand up a little bit, which makes the orbit of the rock go from vertical to the ground, to say where it's starting to go diagonal, so it goes from a, so to speak, a Ferris wheel movement to more like a tilt -a wheel movement, what do I have to add to keep that rock in motion? I have to add more energy. So why does one need more energy when you go from a vertical swing, the Ferris wheel, to the tilt -a wheel? It, you need more energy because on the and a tilt the wheel, the entire circle, 360 degrees, because it's tilted, gravity is trying to pull the rock out of orbit. So it takes more energy to keep it going, and the slightest little bit of twitch or whatever, the rock can fall out. But when you are using the Ferris wheel, and it goes straight up and down, guess what you have? From 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, 
whichever way you're swinging it. In this case, if I'm swinging a rock this way from 12 to 6, the rock is free. Boom, it's free falling because gravity is pulling it down. But gravity is pulling it down, staying in its orbit because gravity is straight up and straight down. So that's why when we swing the club in the mitten up the tree and then back down to the finish, right? What we're doing here is in the mitten up the tree and then mitten the mitten up the tree, we're swinging pretty close to 12 o'clock. So you've heard me ask many, many, many times, is there a perfect golf swing? Yes, there is. The Ferris wheel, it's in perfect harmony with gravity. Can we do it? No, but we can come within a whisker of doing it. And so the, the ultimate key as to where our power comes from with the, with, the, with the peak performance vertical golf swing is that our power comes by, by taking that concept of the rock and string swinging and, and applying it to the golf swing and hitting a golf ball. The rock is the club head, the string is the shaft and your forward arm, and your whole body is emblematic of your hand swinging the rock. And so as the rock swings faster, the hand moves less. So if we, wanna, if we want to hit the ball right, just normally and, and with our normal power level, we still have to do what? Wide knees, outward pressure, which cuts the turn down, keeps us more still, and we take a limited turn so we can do what? Lift the club straight up and just swing towards the target. And then, and then as DJ once aptly described it as the best definition I think I've ever heard of power, someone, one of my students once asked him, DJ, what do you do when you want to hit the ball harder? And he was standing there getting ready to hit a ball, and he just stood up and he said, I hold my knees more and I swing my arms faster that way. That way is where the target is. It's the target on the golf course when you're lined up. It's the target here on my net. And so we're the alternative energy swing. We move our body less with less turn. We maintain that by the outward pressure. That's critical. One of the big things I see in a lot of lessons and at the golf schools is students try to, they, they get somewhat into a wide knees, but they don't, they don't maintain the pressure. They, they don't do or even, uh, and, and if they do it, they don't maintain it. That's what cuts the turn down. That's the uh, wide knees outward pressure is critical. Uh, uh, that, is, that is the, the thing that defines us as surgites. We got the wide knees. But you can have wide knees, but you still need that little bit of outward pressure stretching the inner, inner thigh muscles so that you can, that, that's what really creates the lesser turn. And so uh, when you do that, you're going to get a swing that looks like this. Limited turn, but you, 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 when you make that bump, you just explode to the finish. So we're really moving our body less so we can swing our arms in the club faster. That is the essence. That's what Robert just found out. And, and so that's the message for today. Wide knees, outward pressure are critical to uh, having a limited turn swing. And when you get that down, you're going to find out you'll be hitting it much more solid straight, likely longer, and shooting those lower scores as Robert's starting to experience. Okay, well that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.